Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on higher order polynomial functions. In this video, it says find all the zeros of the polynomial function, determine whether the multiplicity of each zero is even or odd. Okay, so for this first one, we set 3x plus 17 equal to zero, subtract 17 over, 3x equals negative 17, divide, and x is equal to negative 17 thirds. There's only one, so this multiplicity is odd because one is an odd number. So this is an odd multiplicity. Um, we knew there was only one because the exponent is one, so one. This one has two zeros, so is the potential for an even multiplicity. We take negative 7x squared plus 28 equals zero. It's not likely to be even, but we will find out. Uh, we could factor. It is easier if the variable is only in one term to isolate and solve. So I'm going to subtract 28 from both sides. Negative 7x squared equals negative 28. Divide by negative 7. And x squared is equal to 4. Whenever you introduce a square root as somebody solving, as a mathematician, you have to include the plus or minus to acknowledge the two zeros. So this is negative two or positive two. So these are both odd. If you're curious what this means, um, an odd multiplicity means that um, it crosses the x-axis. If it were an even multiplicity, and neither of these have it, an even multiplicity is when a curvy graph has a turning point on the graph. So this, if we had an equation with this formation, this would be an even multiplicity where this is odd. So this parabola, if we were to graph it, it's gonna be very skinny looks like this. It points downward, it has two crossing, and each of these are odd, which means they actually cross the x-axis. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!